On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about augmented reality for real estate. So if you're curious about this, this is the right show for you. We're gonna be going deep into a use case and see how it was successful uh, for that project. And second thing, I'd like to talk to you guys about the VR AR Association. If you're passionate about AR and VR, you need to join this group. There's almost 4,000 of us and it grow keeps growing every single day. So I'm gonna leave a, a link on the bottom so you guys get more information on that. And with that, let's start Surge Forward. Thank you. Hi everybody, my name is Alan Jones and welcome to the Search Forward show. Search Forward meaning that one day everything around this is going to be augmented with digital content and we're going to be able to see that content in either augmented reality um, through you know smartphones or glasses or through virtual reality, so in another world. Now that being said, I want to speak about a specific industry today uh, in real estate and give you guys a use case on what we thought was really, really useful. Now, I'm not sure if any of you have gone shopping for a, for a home or a condo, but oftentimes when you go into the sales office, you meet with a person, they ask you a couple of questions, you, look, you, they tell, you, you, ask, you, you tell them, okay, I'm looking for this amount of square feet um, and, and a few other information. And after that, they're gonna, give you, they're gonna give you a pamphlet about the surrounding area and they're gonna give you just kind of a blueprint of what the condo is gonna look like. Uh, now, I don't know about you, but for me, um, that's kind of a disappointing experience. And so what we did for a, a client of ours at the time is we created um, an interactive map um, that you could, you could see key, uh, key information on, um, on your surroundings. So the demographic group, the parking, uh, the subway, the restaurants, and this 3D uh, map um, w w really allowed users to learn more. Now, we developed it in a native, so it means we developed it with uh, iOS programming, so in Xcode. And the reason why we did that was to save on space, number one. And number two, because you could have, you know, like nicer, slicker designs. Um, and then after that, what we did was we imported um, in 3D um, in Unity. So we built everything in Unity. And then after that, we ported it into uh, native so that you could have an augmented reality experience that would pop out over uh, the map of Manhattan. Now we kept the colors uh, at just green and dark greens in order to save time. So we didn't get into any of the, uh, any of the details of the buildings because, uh, well, it wasn't on budget. So I'm gonna show you guys a video throughout this to, see, to, to show you exactly how we developed it. Um, and hopefully it's gonna inspire you guys. But this, is, uh, this was a really great tool uh, to use at conferences and also for uh, sales offices. So sales offices, you know, you meet a person, you, um, you, know, you show them this map, then after they take out an iPad, and then after that the buildings pop out. And it's really great interactive experiences between you and the client. The client appreciates it and they can see a lot more information. So this was a big success uh, for the client and um, I hope that it helps you as well. Um, so thank you very much. My name is Alan Jones and I'm also going to put a link for uh, Augmented Reality and Virtual Reality Association if you guys like to be part of it. It's really, really great. And of course, uh, a link to my free ebook on virtual reality. So maybe that's going to help you guys. So if you have any questions or comments, you know, feel free to leave that in the bottom. My, my, my goal is really to help all you guys, is to help the community and all for all of us to rise um, in these new technologies, augmented reality and virtual reality. So thank you very much again. My name is Alan Jones. Subscribe and I will see you very, very soon. Thank you.